Sylvester Stallone first appeared in 1976 as Rocky Balboa in Rocky, the first film in Rocky franchise. Rocky is a seemingly tough but kind and funny man who lives in one of Philadelphia's neighborhoods. And he says he wants more! He wants more! Apollo Creed, the heavyweight champion of the world, decides to give an unknown fighter a shot at the title when his opponent pulls out. Seeing this as entertainment for the audience, but a promotional opportunity for himself, he gives Rocky the opportunity, thinking of him as a weak opponent. At first, Rocky hesitates, but later agrees and starts training hard by his trainer, Mickey Goldmill. During this time, not only does he train, but he also becomes romantically involved with Adrian, a shy girl from the pet shop. You know, so uh, you better start using your body, right? So I've become a fighter. Fight to the head, to the body, to the head. The boy is tagging the champion right on the kitchen. Sylvester Stallone first appeared in 1979 as Rocky Balboa in Rocky II, the second film in Rocky franchise. Ain't this robe nice? Better than last year, that's for sure. Remember that baggy one last year? This is gorgeous. The first scenes of the movie begin with Rocky and Apollo leaving the hospital after the fight. Rocky is loved and respected by people because of his incredible fighting skills. That guy's great. Not all, listen, he's only a man. You can beat him. Due to health problems, Rocky stays away from boxing and wants to spend more time with his family and marries Adrian, the woman he loves. While Rocky is starring in various commercials, Apollo is not happy with the result of his fight with Rocky and challenges him to a rematch to prove that he can easily defeat Italian Stallion. After retraining with Mickey, he returns to the ring against Apollo and together they put up a great fight. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone appeared in 1982 as Rocky Balboa in Rocky III, the third film in Rocky franchise. At the beginning of the film, Rocky continued to fight and defend his title in the world of boxing. However, things don't go well for the Italian Stallion after a formidable challenger clubber Lang offers him a fight. You're in trouble. Rocky loses his first fight against Clubber. Although the defeat hits him hard, the death of the person he loved caused a tragic change in his life. What favor? When it's over. Hmm? Then, Rocky begins training again under the guidance of his old rival, Apollo, and he fights for the heavyweight championship in a rematch against Clubber. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone appeared in 1985 as Rocky Balboa in Rocky IV, the fourth film in Rocky franchise. Very loud personality. Don't go too fast, or you're gonna get out of focus. Oh, really? <laughs> Apollo's fight against Ivan Drago ends in his tragic death. Shaken by his friend's death, Rocky decides to take his revenge. Why Christmas? That's what I was told. Where? It's in Russia. Because the fight takes place in the Soviet Union, Rocky not only faces a powerful opponent, but also political tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. Despite Adrian's opposition, he begins a life and death fight with an opponent who has physically equipped himself with superior strength through Soviet technology. This fight means more than winning, so Rocky has no choice but to get in the ring. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone appeared in 1990 as Rocky Balboa in Rocky V, the fifth film in Rocky franchise. I just fought the best fight of my life. I just did that, you know. In this film, when Rocky is diagnosed with brain injuries, he is advised by doctors to retire from boxing. Worse, the irresponsibility of his brother-in-law, Polly, causes Rocky to lose his fortune and return to his old neighborhood in Philadelphia. Let's talk. As the family struggles with money, Adrian gets a job at the pet store again, and Rocky gets a job at Mickey's old gym. Here he meets Tommy Gunn, a talented boxer, and trains him to become a successful athlete. Oh, well, I didn't want to disturb you that much, Father. Not disturb, His relationship with Tommy Gunn distances Rocky from his own son, Robert. But it doesn't take long for Rocky to realize Tommy's betrayal. I can't believe it, you know, this is where it all started for me, kid. Running up and down these steps, you know. 
Sylvester Stallone appeared years later in 2006 as Rocky in Rocky Balboa, the sixth film in Rocky franchise. Come down to this place a long time ago, just look around. No big deal. After Adrian's death, Rocky runs an Italian restaurant named after her. During this time, he constantly dives into past memories and talks about his regrets and problems with his son, together with Marie, whom he has just met. About standing toe to toe and all that stuff, or, or like my kid says, is it just like ego? In a changing boxing world, the simulator puts Rocky against the current champion Mason the Lion Dixon. Refusing to accept the results of the simulator, Rock wants to prove himself to the world that has forgotten him. Despite the trouble of getting his boxing license, he steps into the ring and shows everyone what real fighting is all about. Sylvester Stallone later appeared in 2015 as Rocky Balboa in Creed, the spin-off film in Rocky franchise. If you need something. I'll be at Mickey's gym tomorrow. I don't go there. I haven't been there in a long time. Apollo's son Donnie meets Rocky while looking for memorable pictures in his restaurant and asks him to be his trainer. Although, at first, Rocky did not look at this offer warmly, but later he did not resist Donnie's insistence and prepares him for the world of boxing. All right, get going there, champ. Bell. Donnie gives Rocky the attitude of an absent son, while Rocky gives Donnie the attitude of an absent father. You okay? Huh? Throughout the film, Rocky faces his own personal problems. Despite his advancing illness, Rocky faces them and fights. During this time, he is always by Donnie's side and mentoring him. It means I'm a lucky guy. What can I say? I mean, a kid, he's a real fighter, and he's uh, helping me fight a few things, so I appreciate it. Like you told him to start. Sylvester Stallone appeared in 2018 as Rocky Balboa in Creed II, the second spinoff film in Rocky franchise. You know you've got the fire in your gut. And I know you'll do what needs to be done. Not wanting Donnie to face the son of the man who killed his father, Apollo, Rock faces emotional and moral challenges over the match. But Rock, unable to stand Donnie's stubbornness and realizing that it would be right for him to be by his side during this time, and he puts Donnie through a rigorous training regime to overcome this. Becky or Kate? Something like that. Kate Creed. Rocky, who is afraid to relive the moments of the past, despite these thoughts, does not leave Donnie's side until the final fight. In the end, Rock ends another battle within himself by doing something he has wanted to do for a long time but has not been able to do. Christmas just came early for you because I'm going to hold the bag, lucky guy. Nah, you the one who's lucky. How's that? Because I'm going to let you hold the bag for me.